What's going on? <laughs> oh, is the music is it music a little too loud at all? Let me know. Alex, what's up, man? Thanks for joining. Thanks for the follow, dude. Luca, thanks for the follow, too, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, so I'm using my Pocket 4K today. It's kind of ridiculous, and it's kind of overkill. Let me turn the music down. Uh, one second. Yeah, the Pocket 4K. Uh, I'm using it today. It's a little overkill. Mm. It doesn't say which one it is. Is it this one? Testing, testing. I think I got that right. Yeah. What's going on, guys? How y'all been? Sorry it's been so long. Dude, I'm finally finished uh, with this pre-calculus class. It's been intense, man. So this is uh, definitely a good little gift to myself after uh, I finished school. So it's been kind of nice, kind of chilling. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. It's... It's good again. Yeah. Yeah. For some reason, I'm not really, I don't know, man. I, I guess I should probably study on this stuff more. I know Andy does a lot of like research and testing and stuff before stream. I just, uh, I'm lazy. <laughs> so I'm not very good at this stuff. Yeah. But yeah. I just got off of work. I'm going to try to get this thing unboxed and built. I'm really going to take my time though. I, I try to watch a lot of uh, when Teja built his, so it was kind of, I don't know, it's kind of scary, man. For some reason, my chat doesn't work in my OBS. I don't know what I did wrong, but I'm going to try to fix that, too. Let's see. I'll just close that out, and I'll adjust this so I can see it in here. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, I've been trying to keep up on the discords, but uh, it's just, I think I'm at a point where I need to start leaving some discords because <laughs> i'm like i didn't realize you know the more you're into like keyboards the more discords you're into for like group buys and stuff and they they definitely bait you in to join so i'm like in like 30 or 40 i'm sure you guys are the same but i've gotta i've gotta clear my my queue out i've gotta clear it out yeah but i, I got this keyboard today too many discords yeah you know the deal yeah i got this keyboard today dude so uh uh i think it was like probably like 12 to one o'clock uh, i get the notification that it's out for delivery hey what's going on andy you, you ready to watch me scuff this board uh yeah i got the i got the package in around three today but the U usps guy apparently i guess like the first time he came by he didn't deliver it or he like must have missed it so i was like dang i guess maybe he missed it up or something Thanks, man. I appreciate you joining, dude. What's going on, Austin? Oh, I hear it, Andy. Yeah, man. I, I feel that, dude. I'm literally getting off of work. It was a busy day, so I, I definitely feel that, man. But yeah, we're going to tear this box open. Hopefully, uh, I am I mean, I'm pretty certain. I mean, everything's good with this thing, but yeah, this is my first key cult, so it's interesting. I can't believe that. I, I still can't believe I got this thing. It's kind of wild. It's ridiculous. I don't know why. Yeah. Let's open it up. All right. Ooh, sorry, sorry. It is definitely heavy. Um, uh, blood am. Okay. <laughs> yeah, dude. The. I, you know, I, it's kind of weird, man. Like, I literally won the Key Cult wrist rest raffle, and then I won the Key Cult number 265 uh, raffle. So, I, I'm pretty sure I've used up all my luck for this year. Uh, and maybe next year, too. Maybe I've got two this year. Oh, you know what? I should fix my commands. Right. Zoo, thanks for the follow, man. I appreciate that. All right, let's... I've never used these commands before. I think I should be more professional with it and start doing stuff that I need to do. 
I need a. I haven't been able to stream as much as I'd like to. Also, I haven't really had as much builds as I want. Also, if you hear my kids in the background, fighting or <laughs> muscles, yeah, yeah, boy. This is 250 pounds of pure protein, boys. <laughs> Espresso, straight straight from my Gaja Gaj, Gaja Classic Pro. Man, I, I don't know. I'll mess with this later. I keep saying that every time I stream that I'll mess with this later, but I never do. I don't know. We'll, we'll mess with that later. Yeah. I'm a noob, man. I, I, let me, hold on. Let me, let me undox myself. <sighs> Dear Dustin, you're amazing. Thank you for being awesome. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. So that's one box. Um, I'm just going to show you guys something. Uh, Key Colt from Raleigh, North Carolina. I just want to point out the fact that the best keyboards are made in North Carolina. Uh, it just so happens to be that I also live in North Carolina. Coincidence? I don't know. You guys decide. All right, I'll open this after. How do I, do I just pull the bag out? What candy? Is there a candy? What candy? Where's the candy? Ooh, there's the, okay, here's the candy. All right. Watermelon gummy candy. Yes, I am a very good keyboard. Uh, I was born uh, as a keyboard. But later in my life, I decided I want to be a human, so I converted. All right. Kiwi fruit or watermelon? Or both. <laughs> I'm gonna go watermelon. They're squishy. Ooh, it smells good too. You would think this would be red, but it's, it's not. It's not red. Do your job. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, focused up. Water. What do you mean water? Oh, watermelon. Gotcha. I was like, I ain't got no water in here. I don't have a redemption point for um, water also. Hmm. It tastes like watermelon. But it also has like a hint of like lychee. Not bad. I guess lychee kind of tastes like watermelon too. Alright, this is PCB. Aspatose. I like the pretty um, packaging paper stuff. It's pretty decent. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything. Yep. The meme officer is here, guys. You can stop worrying. He is finally here. Mukbang key cold candy. Yes, sir. I'll eat. I'll eat. Uh, ooh. Okay, so daughter board cable. We're just gonna we're gonna do the whole uh, YouTube um, showing thing. Amazing microfiber towel. Oh, look at the logo, boys. Is this the first one that, I don't know, I, I guess, did I not see, did Tejas come with the towel? Ooh, what are you, what are you gonna eat today, man? What are you eating today? What are you waiting for? Why is there two cables? There's two cables, I guess, it's not bad to have two cables. I, I should probably have looked at this more, okay. PCB. I imagine this is the plates. Ooh, Panda Express. That is so funny, dude. Uh, I literally was just looking at an advertisement of uh, free delivery if you order Panda Express. I was actually looking at it. Ooh, here we go. Ugh. My kids are playing Fortnite. My daughter, um, she just now started playing Fortnite. 
she's in love with it. So they're getting their uh, entries there. Uh, I'm gonna be building this with. Oh, hold on one sec. Man, let me let me fix my command. You guys can talk to me while I do this. Teach me, senpai. Teach me. Okay. Commands. I see an arrow. Uh, how do I? How do I? Okay, custom commands. And add a new command. Command is keyboard. Response. What should my name be on here? Should it be DV Chan or Dustin? Thanks for joining back, Austin. I appreciate it. Okay. Uh. I think I did that right. Okay, try the command, try the command. Is this a mug? This? Oh, <laughs> I did keyboard. Oh, did it work? Hey, my man, let's go. All right, I suppose I should do that. Okay, look at me guys. I'm just becoming a professional uh, Twitch streamer with my amazing commands. Just moving up in the world. Alright. This right here is not Flux. This is um, Espresso. It could possibly work as Flux. I have never tried it, so uh, I can't state that as a fact. Okay, back to it. Amazing towel for my keyboard. I'm gonna keep this on the desk uh, to save my board when I get down. And I'm gonna move this off of my desk mat because that's just, oh, look at that. That's my fault. That's what I did. Ooh, nice. Heck yeah, man. Got around yellows. Are they milky yellows? Yeah, get yellows are OGs, man. I love me some yellows. It's perfect spring weight. Pretty sure my unboxing is probably the worst. Uh, I've been told that I am the worst, so par for the course. Oh gosh, that's heavy. I shouldn't have picked it up by that plastic. That was a bad idea. That could have ended really bad. So when you guys get your number two six fives, make sure not to do that. Just saying. Yeah, man. Gat yellows is the way to go. If you don't know what to do and you like linears, gat yellows. All right. Huh? This one's been open? Hold on. Oh, oh gosh. Hold on. Was I pranked? Ooh, thank you. I'll let you guys, we'll read this together as a family. The number 265 feels like our most significant project yet. This is our first kit produced in-house and represents nine months of testing and iteration. We hope you can see and feel the love and dedication that went into it. We'll strive to make every in-house release better than the last, but we're immensely proud of how far we've come. We hope you enjoy. When we started Key Cult, we never imagined that we'd be where we are today. All of the all of that is thanks to you and others who have supported and encouraged us every step of the way. Yours truly, not really yours truly, just yours. Zach and George. Noise. Did I read that good? So, okay. The card. Okay, so this is a B stock board. 
uh, if you guys didn't know, on the card, it, I guess it lets you know why it's a V stock. So mark on the bottom right back corner and mark on the bottom angle. November 20th, serial number 0058, black brass V stock. Number two. Nice. That's a dope card, man. I like it. Okay, I will put this back in the envelope. I don't think there's any candies in there. If there was, you would know. Yeah, man, I'm excited about this keep holder. I, like I said, I keep, I keep telling people, I, I can't believe it's not. Oh gosh, why is that a reopen? I can't believe it's still here. All right, so um, that was already open. I mean, not that big of a deal. Is that normal? I guess, I don't know. Maybe because it's a B stock. Oh, maybe that's why. Okay, here we go. Remember how I said my USPS uh, didn't deliver it on time? I imagine he was just chucking stuff in the, in the car. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look at the rest of the box. Everything else looks fine. The corners are okay. I can live with it. I don't care about the box. Here we go. I'm trying not to like accidentally like yang and hit the microphone so it doesn't pop in your guys' ear. But at the same time, I'm trying to be uh, strong enough to pull this out. I'm sure I'm making a weird face. Ooh, it's got that new sneaker smell. It smells like Yeezys. Key Colt Yeezys. All right. This is the foam. I, I think they use some type of a uh, CNC to cut this out too. Pretty cool. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's heavy. Oh gosh. That is a beefy board. Oh my gosh. Okay. Weigh it? Oh, good, good, good idea. Let me go get my scale. I'll be back. Yeah, you're right. I do got to weigh it. What was I thinking? Not weighing the board? Ridiculous. Do I look fancy with an espresso cup? One sec. Okay. This goes a little dirty. I'm going to take the paper off. Gosh, it is like Christmas in December. Get it? Because Christmas is in December. Four pounds, 13.6 ounces. Is that right? Let me zero it out. That's a good looking board. Okay. Get you out of the way. I guess we can go to grams too. Let's go ahead and do the grams. Make sure. For our European folks. Or, yeah. Wait, what am I doing? Oh gosh, it's heavy. <gasps> yeah, I think all of I think all of them that are coming out right now are gonna be the black color. Okay. Seventy-seven point eight. 
two kilograms, 204 grams. Four pounds, 13 ounces. Noise. Okay. For some reason, my camera doesn't like to focus. Keycolt logo. Oh my god, can you do your job? Ugh. Just do it, just focus. Okay, scuffed. Right. Nick Clicks, what's up man? Welcome to the stream, dude. Yep, just showing off my cool board I got from my friends at Keycolt here in North Carolina, because North Carolina makes the best people in uh, keyboards, apparently. <laughs> Ooh yeah, man. This brass bottom, so nice, dude. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, Rick. Okay, so let me pull that card back out. We'll just look at what possibly, what the issue was, why it's be stuck. Thanks, Nick. Yeah, so, uh, Andy, I don't well, I don't even even know if you're here, but so I'll, on Andy's stream, uh, I was trying to hint that I won it uh, while he was on the stream. So I was like, "Hey man, uh, if I knew somebody that had a number two six point five that that he won, what would you recommend?" Uh, but he didn't notice. But Nick did, and he messaged me about it. <laughs> okay, so mark on the bottom right corner, mark on the bottom right back corner. I want to say this is the bottom right back. Um, uh, so maybe this little, okay, I see it. So this little, oh my goodness, do you, do you, man. Just do you, bro. Come on. Oh, oh my goodness. Ugh. All right, a little mark right there. That's it. Okay. And then mark on the bottom angle. Uh, I don't know what that means. But I mean, <laughs> it's not, it's very minuscule. So, I mean, I'm not mad at all. Okay. I think I know how to build this thing. Pretty sure I do. All right. I'm gonna put this guy over here. For now. Ugh. Man, I've been so sad lately too because all my boards currently that I have ordered are all in group buys. It just feels like they're taking forever to get here and I haven't built a keyboard in like so long. And then I got this thing and it was just like, oh my goodness. All right, I'm just covering that up so like, because I'm so clumsy and I break stuff on accident all the time, I'm trying to cover that up. Okay, for the build, I have here Cherry MX Black Retooled. Um, that I lubricated with 205G0. And that I filmed with 67 gram TX springs. Now, some people uh, don't really like um, the scratchiness of blacks, but actually, I really like it in these types of boards. Uh, I really, really liked it in my KBD 67 Mark II, and that's why I decided to go with these. So, I think it'll sound good. I feel like everybody's putting these in there. Uh, I saw uh, Teha put his with some Yump, yump Umpway. Some spring uh, stems, yeah. Yeah. These took forever to do. I I hate 
I hate films so much. Bump wipes. Is that what they're called? Yeah, that sounds about right. Put some bump wipes in there. And then I'll put some wob on top of that. Uh, I'm going to do the 7U space bar. And I've got to do these stabilizers. So that's going to take... <laughs> That's going to take a little bit. I don't know. I hope I have all of them. Okay. All right. So do they call them bump wipes or am I just saying it incredibly bad? I'm curious. All right. You know what? I might just pull some stabs out of my other boards. That I don't really worry about. Cause I may be missing some of these. Yeah, I can't say it. You, you, um, I'll, I'll have to look it up. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think I lost my uh, stabs. There was a bag of stabs in here. Why do heck? Where'd you go? <laughs> I'm white. <laughs> that sounds about right. That sounds about right. There's one little stab piece there, but that's, that's not it. Alrighty. Give me one sec. I'll be right back. I'm gonna grab some stuff real quick. Welcome, dude. Uh, you missed, I was I was uh, drinking my espresso earlier. Uh, I made it, I've made two cups today. Hopefully I don't have any heart attacks, but cheers, mate. So, <clears throat> turns out I didn't have enough stabs. I, I, it looks like I lost some somewhere along the way when I was cleaning up the other day. So I had to harvest these from one of my uh, spare PCBs that I have. I'm just preparing these so when I put it on the board, they're ready to go. Gotta put them O-rings. Hey, let's go, man. I can't seem to figure out latte art, man. I don't know what it is. I've been using just, um, maybe it's my milk too. I saw you guys were talking about the milk earlier. Maybe I just can't get my milk right. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get my milk game on. Stabless. <laughs> you know, that's, a, that's not a bad idea. I would be the first person to go stabless with a key cold. It'd be trendsetting. It would be transcending. <laughs> yeah man uh, so one of the things I've learned too about uh, latte art is that everybody is not always perfect with it like so I've seen some people that um, they're really really good at latte art well, mostly uh, just personal baristas I guess like home baristas baristas but uh, I watch a lot of YouTubers and they don't always get it right now, people in the industry, of course, they'll get it right because they have to do it every day and have to perfect it. Oy. Okay. <clears throat> Is it? If I feel like my video is kind of blurry on the top down. I think it's this light, or it could be my camera. I'm shooting down the top down with the EOS R. Kind of overkill, but that's all I have. How do you have a feeling you know me, but not from where? Oh, have you seen my YouTube videos? That's possible. I do a couple YouTube videos. Thanks, man. 
Yeah, maybe it's just me. I think I'm over. Uh, I, I, I'm over judgmental on my own stuff, I guess. I'm so picky. I'm not a perfectionist, but I guess I nitpick at things a little too much. All right. Clean this pad off. All right. I'm gonna need this extra candy. This one is kiwi fruit. That's good. Those are good with coffee. Man, I love their paper, dude. So clean. I don't know if you guys can see that. So cool looking. We are building the Key Colt number 265. Um, this is my first Key Colt. It's actually like my first keyboard above 300 bucks. That I, well, I guess my first plus 400 plus keyboard um, that I've actually built. I have a few boards that are coming in, but yeah, it's gonna be nice. This is the aluminum, nice little ping to it. I think that'd be good resonation for the sound. Res reson it'll resonate the sound very good. I don't even know if that's the right words. Okay. Shabam. Wilba PCB. Try not to elbow my microphone. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Wilba Tech. Let's get the daughter board out of the way. So it's a multi layout. I think I will pick up a hot swap uh, just so I can test switches in the future too. An extra plate. I think I'd like to try like a palm plate that they have available. I really, really like that. Um, they do have like a, they have a good amount of uh, PCBs available eventually. And the prices aren't ridiculous on PCBs like some of the boards I've seen. So yeah, I really like this. Revision two, revision three. Okay, so. <laughs> This is the top, I believe. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. Put you here. Oh, I guess we gotta test it, so. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh geez. Okay. All right, I'm going to unplug this. It's going to do a little ping, so I'm going to mute it. Uh, let's move this guy out of the way. Where am I at? Window capture. Something up by you. Thank you. Yeah, uh, I, I like I said, man. I'm, I'm still kind of in disbelief that I have this board, but I am excited. I'm very happy that I got this board. Okay, I'm trying to find this window. All right. I have no idea why it looks like this. Why does it look like that? What? What's going on? Oh, also, I have a little doggy now, guys. I don't know if you guys hear that little dog. That is my little puppy. Her name is Willow. Okay. 
That's, <laughs> I, guess, I guess that'll work. We'll see. <laughs> what even, why is it? Oh, jeez. Uh, uh, whatever. We'll leave it. Yeah, I got the um so I got the the black one with the brass bottom on it. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Really nice. Am I plugged in? It's windows. I'm really bad at this. Just a FYI. I see everybody else do it. I think it looks cool, so I do it. If you guys told me that I would spend 700 bucks on a keyboard a year ago, I would have called you crazy. Sometimes I feel like ignorance is bliss, so <laughs> I don't spend so much money. But I think this board right here, um, it's, it's worth more than its weight in gold. Such a nice board. A lot of people talk about reselling these. I don't plan to sell this one though. This is my keeper. I don't think I'll ever get a chance to pick up one of these again. So if you guys do end up winning the raffle, definitely keep that in mind. The resale right now is kind of crazy too, just because of everybody made at home. There's so many people getting to the hobby right now, so it's been kind of crazy lately. Plus the whole key call craze. I originally wanted the um, number 165, but after watching this one and how it's built and also like the other um, number twos out there, I, I, I think I'd much rather prefer the number twos, uh, just the way that it's built and the sound that I've heard out of it. Uh, I like the flat bottom and the way the brass sits inside of the case. Also the seamless design is really nice. I think that about covers it. All right, we're good. Very nice. Okay. Little yiper. She's fighting with her dad. My dog Onyx. Alright. Which way? What? Is it this way? What? Uh, I believe it's this way. This looks right. Okay. I'm going to put this keyboard back over here. And we'll start putting some switches in. Oh, actually, <laughs> I gotta put the stabilizers first. <laughs> I was about to establish what the hey. Okay. Let's get our switches in. We'll test out these stabs. See if I can make sure I line these guys up correctly. Shift, shift. Get my alphas right. Get my alphas right. Alright. Am 
Am I look? Oh, I'm upside down. What am I doing? All right. I hate these little O-rings because they always tend to fly off. The worst. The worst. Alright. Ooh. <laughs> the music was off. Oh, jeez. Alright. Are there any issues with my stream? Does it, like, uh, lagging at all? I keep seeing some blips on my internet real quick. I don't know why. It keeps like refreshing. I wonder if that's why my um, chat didn't work earlier also. We've been having like some really annoying issues lately with this AT&T, but they want to raise my chart, my fees. Doesn't make any sense. Looks so good, man. Gosh, looks so good. All right, so now I'm looking at here. One thing I do notice about this PCB, it seems thicker than some of the other ones. It could just be the coloration. I like it though. It's not a bad thing. Last but not least, we'll put our space bar in. I want to make sure I put the right switch location though. Goddess Jan, welcome to the chat. I'm trying to do my 70 space bar. Uh, I think that's the right alignment. All right. This is my key cord keyboard. Thank you for my Christmas gift this year. <laughs> uh, 
how's it running? How's the how's the stream running, honey? We are trying to put these stabilizers on now. Oh, Goddess Jan is my wife, if you guys were wondering. <laughs> It'd be weird if I just called a random chat person. Honey. Alright. Moon Operator, what's going on, man? Welcome to the stream. Alright. Oh, thanks for the follow, man. I appreciate that. Yep. So I just put all the stabs on. I think that's pretty much it as far as stabs go. One, two, three, four. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait. No, we're not doing the shift. That's right. I'm going to put some Cherry MX Blacks on this guy. Uh, the Cherry MX Blacks are filmed and lubed with Chua 5G0. And uh, these are the retooled blacks. Um, a lot of people don't really like them. Oh, I guess any Cherry Max blacks in general. I think the Hyperglides would be super nice, but it's going to be a while before they get in. So unfortunately, I was able to get them, but I think these will do well. I also plan to do some other builds in the future with this keyboard. Um, by like, uh, I'm, My plan is to get multiple PCBs and plates for this. I'd like to do some palm and try that out and see how it sounds. I think that would sound pretty decent. <laughs> yeah, they did. Kind of sad. Yeah, I actually like that Ramakara. I mean, the yeah, the Ramakara. Uh, I haven't gotten it yet, though, because uh, I've spent so much money on this keyboard, which is like 700 bucks. Wasn't too bad, though. Yeah, kind of sad, man. Um, the only the only down thing downside about like retools and stuff is uh, they only last for like a temporary amount and like how good they are. So you'll always see like they'll come out really really nice and all of a sudden um, people are like they suck again. <laughs> so you'll see a lot of that. That's the only downside of it. But everything else, man, pretty dang good. <laughs> yes. Let's go in the sea. You just gotta relube them with uh, 205G0 because of the salt. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I've been liking some JWKs lately, though. GMK Nautilus. <laughs> You're dang right on that. I like that. That's a good one. treasure hunters I, I read recently that there was a treasure hunter that was like in jail and they wouldn't let him out of jail because he keeps not telling the location of the coins that he found i think it's been like five years he's been in there kind of crazy but honestly like if you've got like a million bucks chilling and you gotta wait 10 years to get it i mean maybe that's what you do it's kind of like an investment in a way i guess Yeah, I think that that's a good deal, man. If if you want to get a nice keyboard, I would definitely get the Ramakara. The reason why I like the Ramakara so much uh, is mainly because the way that they built it. Uh, first, it's uh, I think it's an ABS mold. It's an ABS uh, material, but the way they built the standoffs is far superior than a lot of the other uh, keyboards I've seen out there, where they're um, uh, what is it called? They're filled. What is it? They're threaded with uh, actual brass threadings. So that makes it more secure, but I think it'll also help with sound resonance. Um, with my NK65s and other boards that I've gotten where they didn't have those um, metal standoffs inserted into the uh, standoffs, uh, there was cracks, which was kind of sad. But I think it'll look good. It looks really good. <laughs> for gaming though it's kind of weird because like if you're using an HK HHKB style uh, keyboard I use control a lot right so I like my control is my crouch for most games that I play 
So not having that would be really awkward. Uh, but I mean, I have plenty of boards that I can always swap out too, which is not a big deal. But still, it is kind of weird if, you, if you're not used to that. And there's a lot of people out there too that, I mean, they have uh, the capability to like relearn that key, but I'm just too lazy to do that. <laughs> it's my only flaw. Yeah, I need, I need to get back into gaming. My my kids are actually playing Fortnite right now. Uh, I know people kind of hate on Fortnite because it's a meme, but man, they love it. It's so fun. Oh yeah. Well, they might. Well, no, I think you're right. Does does Rama, does the U80 come in with key, win keyless? I don't think it does. You might be right. I think you're right about that. Which would kind of doesn't make sense if they do HHKB and not win keyless. Any soldering station? Uh, so really any soldering iron that'll hit up to 350 degrees and keep that temperature consistently should be good. Yeah. Yeah, I've, man, I've had so many soldering irons in the past that are just like, you can't even adjust it and it's just it's just like it does this random temperature and you have no idea and it's like you're like it's hot but then like when you touch the lit the um, the solder to the to the actual points where you're trying to solder it's not it doesn't function correctly so yeah i definitely recommend getting something that you can dial in that temperature yeah i gotta get me one of those uh ts100s yeah andy uses it uh and so does teha um I also have to get a Hako for desoldering uh, for when I plan to uh, do more. I, I think eventually I'll probably get into more of the commissions, commission style builds. But for now, uh, I'm just using my regular <laughs> knockoff soldering Hako station. It's pretty good. As long as it does that 350 degrees though, it's definitely good. I'm going to be honest though, this keyboard man, I, I don't... <laughs> I don't know how it's going to be when I have to take that case apart. I'll have to, I'll have to read up on that. I'm going to look a bit more into that. I think I got a good idea of it. Uh, I've never installed gaskets on there, but everything looks like it's pretty self laid out. Yeah, this is my personal build. I won this number 265 in the key cult raffle, so I was able to purchase it um, at cost. Well, not at cost, at the, the cost of them selling it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, man. Lubing without desoldering. So lubing without desoldering is possible uh, if you have a specific plate that allows that. Um, some people try to do the um, was it super lube spray, uh, which I guess if you don't really care like about the 205G0 style lube, and you are okay with the lube that's provided, it may be okay. But I would much prefer having um, uh, un unsoldered switches to lube. My, my one of my favorite boards, the Connor. What's going on, man? Thanks for joining, dude. Yeah, man. I'm I'm tearing this thing up. I'm, just, I'm building it up. Yeah, one of my favorite boards is the um, CM Storm Quickfire uh, TKL. That is actually just like a pretty much like a gaming keyboard. One of the first early gaming keyboards. Uh, those are all Cherry retooled uh, MX Blacks. I desoldered that entire board and resoldered it. Uh, but I lubricated all the switches. Oh man, it sounds so much better after lubing those switches with 205G0. So if you're capable of desoldering it, one, you'll learn how to solder, uh, and two, you'll have a really, really nice sounding board, even if it's just like a, a gaming keyboard or something like that. You would love to build me a keyboard? Thanks, man. I'd love for you to build me a keyboard too. I appreciate that. <laughs> Coffee, coffee time. So far, so good. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to solder this correctly though. I gotta make sure I press down when I solder because <laughs> look at that, <laughs> it just came right out. I don't think, yeah. So these are three pin Cherry MX Black retools. Uh, I don't think you see that. So they're not gonna stick in the PCB as good as it should, but. As long as we're soldering, it should be okay. 
Okay, let me make sure the space bar lines up. And I believe we're going to be doing a... Ooh, listen to that. Here we go. How's that sound? That's pretty good. To me, that sounds good. Okay. And let's test out the shift. Pretty good, pretty good. Purple five degree case, enjoy Japanese keycaps with Gateron black inks. My man, you got it. Is this enter? This is enter, right? Yes. Man, this, I think aluminum may be one of my, I'm liking this aluminum sound, man. I think, I don't know if this, this is my first, I think I've had aluminum plates on my um, Tofu 60. And I haven't had anything aluminum since. But this actually sounds pretty good. Are you asking me PC building or keyboard building? Like, which is better? Or are you uh, asking somebody else that question? Uh, I actually started be um, building PCs before I actually started building keyboards. How do you know if you soldered correctly with a keycap? like testing the switch so typically just uh pushing the switch and testing it will tell you if it's a good solder joint but um so as far as alignment goes so what happens is sometimes some people will um like solder it in like crooked and that'll cause the keycap to be kind of crooked so that can kind of tell you if it's crooked or not um the cool thing though is like it's easy to fix so you just gotta heat up that that solder and just readjust it so it's not that big of a deal but that's typically how, how you're able to tell Ooh, man. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> My kids are so hyped right now. They're getting Fortnite wins all day. I just hear them in the background screaming they got to win. All right. I'm going to align these keycaps now. Watch, he's going to come tell me he won. <laughs> all right is that caps lock shift caps lock yeah all right we're just gonna align this i just want to make sure these are aligned boom <laughs> yeah yeah my dot like it's my first time like my daughter doesn't play often or she doesn't really play at all uh, and we'd introduced her to it she's loving it man it's like her favorite thing okay Those sound good and those are aligned. So now I gotta basically, uh, I'm gonna be aligning these guys to make sure they're aligned correctly. I'm gonna leave the space bar on so I know where to start. My reference point, I guess you'd say. Once that's, once those are figured out, I will start soldering. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, for this build, I lube these with the dielectric um, grease. It's pretty simple, just a super lube for the stabilizers. For the switches, I did 205G0. Uh, I picked up the, uh, the lubrication at Divinity Key. Uh, and there's a couple other places that I picked it up from, but the one that I mainly use right now is the Divinity Key one. But uh, you really just got to find the 205G0 whenever it's available. I try to join like Meg Group buys. They'll kind of let you know whenever stuff is in stock. Uh, or just join a bunch of other um, like keyboard builder groups and they usually let you know. Lightning, Andy, Teha, uh, a bunch of other people I like to join just so I can like see what they're doing, talk to them on there, and then they also have like updates and stuff, which is pretty cool. They like to update their sponsor information, so it's helpful. It helps them and it helps you. Okay, these are the arrows. So I'm going to put some arrows in here. And... We're going to look at that too. I'm going to look up this layout real quick. Let's see. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, man. Definitely support those smaller people, man. It's nice to... I think it's important, like, especially as a community of keyboard uh, builders to, like, help support uh, small businesses like that. A lot of people buy from Amazon, but if you have the ability to purchase and you can wait from places like that, then it's definitely a good thing to do. Uh... I'm trying to find this layout. I might have to jump onto Tehats and steal his his layout. Man, I feel like my desk is so cluttered right now. Sorry, I'm just trying to get the I'm trying to figure this layout. What is this? Okay. Oh, that's right. So there's a blocker here. <laughs> that's what I'm like. That's why I'm getting confused. All right. So when we put this in the case, there's a blocker here, and that'll kind of separate the look. Yep. Next day shipping. That's pretty dang good, man. I don't think I've ever bought anything where people have next day shipping. Okay. I'm going to put the control in. Uh, let's put the shift back just so we can line that up and Am I doing this wrong? Why does this look so funny to me? Is there another blocker? There isn't. Oh, I think I'm going to... I think the one I'm going is too big. Okay. We're going to have to change our, our keycaps sizes. Come on. Uh. All right, let's try this guy out. There we go. And then we can do another larger size. I'm just gonna use the controls for reference. Kids are laughing like crazy in the back. All right. Uh, where are we at? Let's do the delete in there for now, just for placement. Okay. That looks about right. And then we'll do another big control on this side. The last time I did a build, I put it, I put the wrong alignment. So it's important that I get this right this time. One second. All right. Is that too far? <laughs> That's a little too far. Oh jeez! All right, we'll go one more over. I'm gonna check how big this blocker is real quick. Okay, so that looks right. All right, I think we got everything set up. 
So now we can start soldering. Make sure these guys aren't popped out. Boom. What are you guys building right now? What kind of keybas are you typing on? I'm curious. I've been trying to um, get better about like selling keyboards I don't use. I've got a couple that I'm going to be getting rid of here pretty soon. I do like my NK65s, but I'm just not crazy about the um, the layout that they have currently. So I'm going to have to sell some of those. Okay. Time to heat up the soldering iron. I don't have sponsors, so <laughs> so I apologize for not having a sponsor segment while soldering. Uh, I gotta turn my fan on actually real quick. Give me one sec. Maybe a little noisy, just FYI. Let me know if there's any issues with the stream too. I've been um, having issues with my internet today, I think. I feel like this should be poking through a little bit more. Let me look at something real quick. Uh, I guess that's normal. 
Yeah, I guess it is normal. It just seems kind of shallow. They're not poking out as much as they, I'd like them to. I guess that's fine. Okay, back to it. Oh gosh. Pretty much halfway there. feel good. These feel really good on here. I really like this aluminum. I'm very surprised how good this aluminum sounds right now. I've, I've used so much of brass lately and uh, FR4. Well actually I've only got one FR4 but um, similar material I guess. Sounds super good. What is going on? It just seems like this the center is like very compressed. Hold on. I don't like it. I feel like I can do better on this. I guess it's fine. I don't know if it's like, so it seems like these switches in the center don't sit as good as they do on the edge. So I don't know if it's supposed to be that way. Um, yeah, 
I think it's just I gotta press more on the center part. So I'm gonna have to go back and adjust these a little bit more. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, I just don't feel like these are sitting correctly. So I'm gonna have to readjust these. I'm just gonna reheat it and let it adjust itself. There we go. All right. Come on. Okay. My dogs, man. It's, if it's not my kids yelling, it's my dogs. Alright. Alright. Yeah, so... I think I got them all adjusted except for, like, these top ones right now. Let me just... I'm gonna push down on this one. I didn't know about that with this one. That's the first time I've seen that. But let me, let me adjust this one real quick. That'll kind of anchor it in, I guess. That way the other one sticks. Okay, that feels better. All right, hold on one second. All right. So close. Ugh, these guys still are kind of sitting funny. I don't know what is it. What it is. I think it's probably because these switches aren't three pin. Uh, I mean, they're not five pin, so they don't sit. They don't clip in, kind of like the five pins do. So they don't. Um, I don't have that extra stability. I just don't like it. I'm not crazy about it. These guys too.
Can you save your money and not buy keycaps? Yeah, I guess you can. What, uh, so, what are you trying to get instead of keycaps? Like, uh, what exactly are you working with right now? What's your plans? There's a bunch of things you can do um, besides get keycaps. GMKs are just so expensive right now. Uh, I think I got all of these. Let's test it out. Alright. I'm very mediocre. <laughs> I think I need to get a new uh, tip for my soldering iron too. You're replacing, you're replacing the Corsair K65. Okay, <laughs> that's funny you say that. My, uh, one of my favorite gaming keyboards is the Corsair K65. I ended up giving my brother one. Um, okay, let's test this guy out. This, I just something's kind of weird with this uh, mounting. It just seems like it's not even. Yeah, I mean, with your K65, if you're trying to um, get it to sound better, then you can always, like, unsolder and then resolder those switches. Or, I mean, don't take this the wrong way, you can always, like, save up and, like, uh, order piece by piece, like, uh, what is it, a DZ60? Um, a bunch of other keyboards you can do that with. Uh, you can swap in cases with the DZ60. Like, I don't know. I just think that um, with keyboards like the K the the K65 and things like that, they're just kind of limited. But you can always upgrade that and add your own stuff in if you like. Yeah, that that cable is thick, man. Yeah, the nice thing about these keyboards is the cables are removable too, so you have that option if you want to. Yeah, I know I know the feeling, man. That cable is so dang huge and long, and it's like really stiff. So when you're like trying to move it around, it's so hard to like organize it too, because like if you try to wrap it, it just doesn't fit right. All right, I'm going to test this out now, and ch just to make sure all these switches work. So let's go and do that real quick. Yeah, I used to have the, the same board. Actually, I don't know if you can see it. There's one right here. Uh, it's K70. I have the same one still. Uh, I gave the K65 to my brother because he uh, just started getting into gaming. So it's a nice keyboard. It's got RGB and everything. Uh, it's a nice little layout. It's not too big. It's good space and you can do like a bunch with it. It's got the little media knob on there uh, or button. Yeah. Okay. Do we have VIA open? Let's try this out. Boom. And then, there we go. So let's test this out. Oh man, one of these switches didn't work. Oh, I'm scared about that one switch though, man. What am I gonna do? All right. So this is, I guess, this is the function button. So that's fine. Yeah, I tested both times. So I tested once I after I soldered it just to make sure I soldered correctly. So it looks like that number six is something going on with the number six. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this guy's soldered wrong, I guess. Or something. Let's see. Let's try that again, actually. I wonder if I just didn't press it good enough. Yeah, the reason why I test it, uh, it's basically like, so sometimes I've uh, soldered these bad, or like the switch itself is bad. So I like to test it after soldering, just to make sure that either the switch or the solder isn't bad. Oh, so it is working. Okay, so everything's good. We're all good, fam. All good, fam. Yep, I definitely recommend testing before and after. Just to, you know, you want to save yourself time and work if you don't, uh, if you don't mean to do stuff later. Alright. Here comes the hard part. Uh, I haven't really taken this board apart before.
four. So this is going to be interesting. I'm going to throw these into here. I'm going to move this guy out of the way. We're done soldering, so we don't need the solder pad anymore. I've never built a key quilt before. So, I believe you remove the weight first. So let's go ahead and remove the weight first. I wanna become famous, no thank you. Uh, I'm pretty good there. We go. Uh, so with the keyboards I own, so a lot of times, um, so me, I, I'm kind of, I guess you'd say I'm fairly new to the hobby. I prefer to like find boards that I like, and if I'm not crazy about the board, I end up selling it or trading it for another board. So that's typically what I'll do. Oh jeez. I feel like I'm missing one of my own wrenches. I might be. Let's look in here. Uh, one of my favorite things to do though, man, is just... I like to do sound tests. I like to watch sound tests. It's pretty weird how like that's become one of my favorite things to do. It just tells me a lot of like what a keyboard is and is capable of. I think something that's important too is like learning how a keyboard feels when you type on it. There we go. Okay. Let me make sure this didn't come with an outer wrench. Yes, it did. <laughs> Good thing I just checked that. I have this little artisan cabinet right next to me, so that's why I keep reaching over here, if you guys haven't noticed yet. Yeah. 63 followers now, heck yeah. Thank you guys for following, I appreciate it. I've been, like, so the past couple weeks... Uh, I haven't really been streaming that much, uh, and it's mainly because uh, I don't have enough keyboards to build. But I've been debating on doing commissions, um, and the commissions would typically only take, you know, two to three hours to build. Uh, I just haven't had time to set it up. But I think when that comes around, I'll definitely be doing more streams. So hopefully, things will start moving along. I'm trying to do this in in a way that I won't scratch this keyboard. Oh no. Okay, that's oil. Let me take off my watch. That was scary. Yeah, this board does seem to like uh, oils, skin oil. It seems to absorb it. Uh, there we go. Oh, Practice 60 V2 is nice, man. Uh, I've been trying to work on like testing out some like custom gasket type stuff, but I haven't really done anything much other than that. It's a nice board though. It sounds really good. It's got the FR4 plate. I think once uh, Upas opens up the, like the Stack 65 purchase, that's gonna be really nice. If you haven't yet, 
definitely check that one out. The Stack 65 looks pretty good. It reminds me a lot of like the Discipline 65, but with the Stack 65, it's, it's going to have um, kind of like a, a 65 layout, but without the uh, top display. Okay. Let me pull these uh, out. There we go. Okay. So, base weight goes last. Just a heads up. Uh, no, I don't. I don't think so. Not right now. Not that I know of. Now, the 65 PCB that's in the K the Practice 65 is actually a. Uh, Savage 65 case. I'm at Savage 65 PCB. So if you did get the Savage 65 uh, case, you could put that um, PCB into there. But typically, if you bought a Savage 65, you would get the PCB anyway. So you wouldn't really be it. Kind of, it, it, it would be counterintuitive. These are the back bolts and sides. Um, you know, I guess you could get a sixty five case, but you like. So the piece, the the plate that goes with the v, the sorry, the plate that comes with the um, Practice 65, it's pretty much only going to work with that case or the the build. So you have to make sure that if you do get it, man, why is this? Okay, hold on one sec. All right. Yeah, if you do get that, then you want to make sure. That you don't solder it. Like you would have to like mill max or something like that. That is crazy looking. I could show you uh, after I'm done with this what it looks like. So the, the plate that comes with it is basically made for just that practice 65 kit. Um, whereas the 65 PCB will fit pretty much the Savage 65 or other um, cases. We're just going to set this in here. I guess we have to put this face down, actually. Yeah, we'll put this face down. And then we'll tighten it in. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. There we go. Oh yeah. And then we'll just squeeze that in. I'm just gonna hit the corners first and then I'll put this, the other parts in. I'm not gonna tighten it all the way either just in case I need to adjust it.
There we go. That wasn't too bad. That was a lot, e lot easier than I expected. <gasps> I forgot to do the daughter board. That's what I forgot. Back to it. Back to it. close. Almost there. So the keycaps, um, really it's like, if you want decent sounding uh, key types, then you want to have some decent keycaps. But if, if really like the sound isn't that big of a deal for you, then it's not exactly necessary. Uh, I personally, I prefer having uh, decent keycaps over like a more expensive case. That's just me. One screw, hold on. Some of the keycaps that I got like uh, recently are like PBT, which are fairly decent. Uh, but I would definitely recommend checking out GMKs if you ever can. They're just a nicer keycap. The only issues that we found lately though is like the G GMK keycaps, the space bars are kind of crooked or things like that. I don't know what this is. I guess is this is a spacer. What is that? Oh, those are alignment pegs. I don't know if they're necessary. Uh, my personal board is my KBD-8X. I also have other boards, you know, like this is actually my personal board right here. Um, but uh, my other one is the Brutal 60. That's one of my more favorite keyboards. Uh, I've, got, I've got a few though. They're pretty decent. So I'm gonna just make sure these are aligned real quick. Everything looks correct. 
That's lined up. Looks good. I'm not sure how tight these should go. I'll have to read up on that a little bit more. I don't want to go too tight though, because I can cause issues. Oh, there's that screw. Right there. I thought I lost it. Okay. <laughs> I did this totally wrong. All right. I'm going to have to take it all apart again. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, man. What did I do wrong? All right. So this is supposed to go on the weight first. I think you're supposed to set this inside and then you tighten it through this okay this is why like I always see people complain about like doing this wrong yeah it looks good though <laughs> let me redo this here we go I'm trying my best like to take my time though um, they don't really I mean I guess they don't exactly have like tutorials for these so it's not uncommon to do this incorrectly. Yeah. Man, this is so confusing though, so... Yeah, honestly, it really just depends like uh, what your budget is too. Like what, when you're when you're trying to determine oh, when you're trying to determine what kind of keyboard you want, you definitely want to figure out your budget uh, so you can see how much you need to spend on it. All right. Uh, um, like. I don't know if you see my budget build video. So that video itself is pretty easy to follow through. It's, it's kind of the same process that I went through here. Um, you just want to make sure like when you're deciding on your keyboard, you just take your time. I would recommend like if you're trying to do a custom keyboard, definitely um, get a board where you can upgrade in the future or get something that's you know easy to customize. Yeah, I really like the DZ60 boards, just because like you can do anything with them. And if you get a hot swap, you can like repurpose all those parts for other keyboards in that, in that style. Oop. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I think what I have to do, let me move these other way. is I think this is how it works I should watch Teha but I don't want to steal his stream so we gotta put these guys in here correct
All right. Then we'll do that. Is my stream is my stream freezing on you? I'm curious. It keeps on looking like it freezes on my end. I don't know if it's like my video or if it's just like because I'm not um, affiliate yet. It seems like it keeps dropping. There we go. Okay. Go through. There you go. And then, uh, please don't scratch. All right. <laughs> Is this gonna fall out if I flip it? I think it will. Major spooks, what's going on, bro? Uh, I'm trying not to scuff this. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm doing this right. It's kind of confusing, man. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I got my fan on. Thank you for letting me know. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I appreciate you telling me that. Yeah, I turned the fan on because I was sobering earlier. So that's why it was probably still on. That's my bad. Sides in. How's it been, man? How you been doing? I haven't been as busy on the photography channel. But I know you have. Uh, I haven't messed with any film, too, man. <laughs> I feel like that's one of the reasons I haven't been on the, the photography channel. Uh, because I don't want to spend any more money because I'm broke. I keep buying keyboards. I can't afford any more. Okay. This is not easy. I think you can flip it sideways and it'll adjust. But it's just fine, I suppose. Maybe I already got that. Yeah. There we go. Okay. I've never been so stressed to build a keyboard before. This is very stressful. stream 30 years it would seem does it does it seem like there's a big delay in my stream yeah see I knew there was something going on with my stream it's got to be my internet man let me see something real quick 
Yeah, it's been, I guess it has been jumpy. Uh, let me turn some stuff off. I think I've got too many tabs open too. Let me know if that gets better. I'm gonna adjust my bitrate too. Uh, let's try 4,000. Is it still skipping? Is it still uh, really, really slow? Man, that's lame. I'm pretty sure it's my internet. My AT&T has been really bad lately. Yeah, let me restart. Hey, thanks for the follow, man. Ramen Chan, what's up, buddy? Thanks for the follow, bro. Dude, I'm like struggling life in here. Ugh. I think I did this right. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, man, I do stream. I don't know. I don't like I don't like plugging people's like hopping into people's streams and like plugging myself. But yeah, man. Uh, I'm trying to build my key cult. <laughs> I think I'm doing this right, so we'll see. Yeah, man. I've been having issues though, like, uh, I think something's going on my bitrate. My internet's been really bad today, so I think it's been a struggle life for real. Yeah, sorry, bro. Uh, they they were like, hey, so Ramen Champ got this board, but what do you think? Can we let him have it or should you have it? And I was like, nah, bro, give it to me. Don't worry about Ramen Champ. So they gave it to me instead. I'll put a good word in for you though, man. I got you, bro. <laughs> but uh, I don't know, man. I just... I'm so confused at this thing. I gotta redo a bunch of it. So, Owen 15, dude. Uh, okay. I won the the key cult wrist dress for about 60, percent and then I also won uh, this, like back to back. So the raffle for the wrist wrist dress came out. I won that, and then I won this right next to that. So, I got lucky. <laughs> redo it. <laughs> Yeah, man. Uh, man, I don't know. Is there like a? I guess I should probably look for like some type of directions to this, cause I don't know. Let me look it up real quick. Make sure I'm following this correctly. Uh, cause it's just. I think I'm doing it right, but I think I like the daughter board cable. I must have put that in incorrectly or something. It seems like it's a little stretched. Daughter board cable connects to PCB to a USB-C that's screwed into the bottom case. Yeah, so I guess what the number two is is like it's got like three sections of the case, so that's what's confusing me. So let me let me pull up my stuff real quick and just redo this. Yeah, I was having some stream issues earlier, man. I kept I didn't realize it uh, until later, but I kept getting frame drops. Let me know if it gets if it starts frame dropping again. Hey, thanks for the follow, man. I appreciate it. Redo, 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 redo. Yes, many redos. Oh, Tim Keyless, thank you for the follow. Rama Champs, thank you for the follow. Enon Moonshiki, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google stuff because I mean, I guess the scuff builds definitely get views, but I don't want to scuff my key calls. <laughs> Let me do this. Andy, is there is there like a document when you're for these? I don't. I guess I never really looked. Uh, 
Let me see real quick. Yeah, so I, I guess I can look for... Let me look at Tejas real quick. Because I know he's well, the one that did it recently. Uh, yeah. I just don't want to... <laughs> I guess I won't get DMCA. Let me see. All right. So, solder, solder. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to... Uh, I'm gonna steal his stream info. All right, dude, this is okay. This is number two six five. He did the Grove made one. Separate the top from the bottom. Done. Clef Julecki, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Thanks for joining. I'm trying to figure out right now how to do this so i'm trying to adjust it uh, also i didn't have to do the gaskets the gaskets are already done on this one so let me let me pull this other one that he did uh production unit let's do that one <laughs> all right let me uh, yeah i'm gonna redo this redo redo move this thing out of the way I'm just gonna take the whole thing apart and I'm gonna redo it from fresh geese. Get the tweezers, get the tweezers out. Shablam. Yeah, something don't seem right. There we go. It's all coming together. How's this? Is it is it uh, stuttering at all for you guys? I had to kill down my bitrate. I think the bitrate is a little too high, so I had to drop it down. AT&T is trash. Don't forget, AT&T is trash. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Dude, ramen. Stream's looking good, bro. I saw your new uh, cameras and stuff. Looks really good. Lining's OP. Alright. There's most likely a delay, too, though. With, like, me seeing chat, etc. like when Indiana Jones takes the little statue off the uh, piece of rock. Jeez Louise. I'm a boomer. That's a boomer reference. Okay. Oh jeez. This looks so different. Why does it look so different?
I'm watching his stream right now and I can see his face is like mine right now when he's trying to figure this thing out. Okay. So it looks like um, this is mounted onto this. I'm gonna go ahead and take these screws out too. Ugh, and they just flew all over. Okay, I'll revisit that <laughs> later. Okay. Cooler Master Master Keys Pro S Thoughts. Let's see. Cooler Master Master Keys. What? Cooler Master. Pro S RGB. That's a, that's actually just like my uh, looks like my CM Storm Quickfire. I mean, it's a good board. Uh, it's not exactly a custom though. Like if you want that custom feel, you definitely want to look into like um, something you can build from scratch. But it's a it's a decent board if you want to uh, get something started. Okay. I'm watching Mr. Types. It looks like this guy is mounted this way, which I think I did right. And then the daughter board is mounted through this hole right here. Yes. No, maybe. Okay. So let me do that first before I do anything else. Why is that Allen wrench even here? <laughs> Dude, I, I, so I've seen, I saw Tay, Tay Keyboards do um, the Key Colt um, TKL number two. And he said, I remember him saying how hard and complicated that was. But I didn't think it would be like this on this one too. But it makes sense. I mean, they, they're going for the seamless design. It's gonna take a few more steps to go that seamless to get that gasket sound. All right. All right, here we go. Also FYI, the kids are playing fork knife. So they are super hype right now. What what did I build with? Oh, uh, so this is gonna be, uh, if you type in exclamation point keyboard, it will tell you. <laughs> I just put that command in earlier. Uh, no, but it's actually uh, going to be Cherry MX Blacks with 205G0. Yeah. Filmed and TX Springs. That seems so short. Why does that seem so short? Why is this longer? Am I missing something? You see that? So maybe I should just use the long one? I guess? Why is there a small short one and a long one? That's confusing. So I guess I'll use the long one. Maybe that's why I couldn't get it earlier. So that's why I couldn't figure it out earlier on that. Okay. So that's thing one out. Yeah, Cherry Amix Blacks. Here we go. And I'm going to fast forward this.
Yeah, so he did place them in here first. Oh, gosh. Okay, so these guys go in here. So I think I did kind of do it right. The only issue is like when you kick it sideways or something, um, it might be kind of a pain. And I think these little white things are the pegs to align the top and bottom. I lost one screw though. Let me find that thing. Off to search for the screw. I'll be right back. I found it. It's right here. I did it. Took me a little bit, but I got it. Okay. Thank you. Get in there. Deep breaths. Take it slow. Okay. How? Huh? Hmm. If you guys got tips, feel free to let me know. <laughs> And I saw these, oh, where are they at? Little white pegs, where'd they go? Did I do something to them? There, there they are. So I think these go here, if I'm not mistaken. Does that look right? I think this is right. That's the only spot I see they didn't go. the other part that they said was messed up. All right. So these kind of line up the plate for you. That's pretty nice. Okay. Now I'm going to try to put this connector into the daughter board. There you go.
I guess you don't really need these little white pieces right here, but I guess it helps. Alright. Let me check this. That is good. And then I'll do the same thing. Let me test it with the uh, USB. I think you can flip this over and these won't fall out. Oh, I spoke too soon. <laughs> oh jeez. Don't listen to me on that. Oh gosh. Okay. So, screws go in there underneath the PCB. Um, plate goes on top of that. And I guess now I have to pretty much do this. So we'll do this now. That I wonder if that, why that cable was a little too long though. How much total? It's kind of, it's kind of a big question. It's, it's a good amount. It's definitely a good amount. I can tell you that much. Um, it's definitely in the 2000s range, I'd say. Up there. But I know a lot of people that have spent like triple that. I know Andy's been on it pretty hard. Uh, but there, there's another thing too, where like when you're when you're in a pursuit of the keyboard that you want forever, you don't have to literally keep every single keyboard. You can change it up. Okay. I'm just doing this because it seems to be the easier way to do it without having to deal with those little screws popping out. So I apologize if this does not look right. Okay. Almost there. This one, this one, this one. All right. So I'm just hitting all these end, uh, ends and then I'm gonna tighten them up on each one. Okay, so they kind of have their own, like, they stop, so that's good. You don't have to, like, over-tighten it. Each side kind of, like, stops, which is nice. I didn't know if, like, there was, like, a way to tell <laughs> when to stop tightening. So there is. There is a way to tell. Oh, gosh. One second. Uh, I got a battery for you. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I got it. 
Thank you. <laughs> okay. Now we just set it in slow. Kaylee, this is so stressful to me. Why is it so stressful? That is now in. I'm just gonna tighten these guys in slow. Not too much, not yet. This is just for the weight. It's kind of crazy though. Like. I've never had a board where you tighten it this way. This is interesting. Dude, I do not want to have to take this thing back apart. <laughs> I do not want to have to redo this. This is scary because uh, there's so many parts that you have to make sure you get precisely done. It definitely makes sense though. Uh, the way that they do this board, everything kind of sandwiches together in an even way. So that make, it definitely makes sense how they did this. Okay. I can breathe now. It's together. I did it, guys. My gosh. Why was that so scary? Okay. Now let's hope that everything lines up. Because uh, if I do have to take this apart, it is not going to be fun. This it. Yeah. That's the space bar. Not bad. Not bad at all. I really, I, I'm very happy with the choice of picking these though. These switches are definitely the good choice to go with. Maybe I should do it as build. Hold on, sorry. <laughs> no, it's not working. What's up, real as I? Yes, sir. I, I finally won one. I finally got a key cult, man. It finally happened. Yes, sir. Dude, this is a stressful build, though, man. I'm not gonna lie, man. Uh, so the way you put it together is very, very different than from anything I've ever built. So, uh, but I think I got it. Yeah, I got it retail. Mm -hmm. Yep, uh, I, I won the raffle that they did recently, so I was able to pick it up for the retail price. I don't think I would ever buy this uh, aftermarket just because I don't want to uh, contribute to that. Yeah, man, thank you so much. I appreciate that. All right. So Dude. Loving it. It's got nice, it's got really nice flex to it, man. I like it. Yeah, they do, don't they? Yeah, that's GMK, man. Uh, that's why I love GMK. It has that really nice sound.
Dude, these films though, when I installed it on these, oh gosh, it was such a pain. Because the little films like to fall off, dude. It's ridiculous. Alright. Man, I'm sorry. I was like, I was deep focused right there. That was pretty crazy. I don't know if I've... If I should have done that. That was intense. Uh, ASDF, GH, J, K. U, I, O, P. I always forget where my keycaps are, so I have to say it out loud. <laughs> Ooh, man. Feels so good, dude. I'm loving it. You know, it's funny, like, I was so sad about not getting uh, some of the boards that came out recently when group buys. Uh, especially because, like, uh, a lot of the Canon keys boards, I just took a big fat L on. But then I got this one, so I'm like, hey, kind of makes sense. It was like it was meant to be, man. Alright. But, dude, I don't... <laughs> I don't want to take this board apart again, man. This is, like, a really stressful build. This is the most stressful build I've ever done. Just because it was, like, uh, these parts are, like, so hard to take apart. I think I definitely, um, like I literally watched the videos on it, but I guess I didn't watch the port, the parts that were the most important, which were, um, the way in which the, the order in which these parts go together. I didn't watch that part. I did watch like the soldering and stuff like that. Um, uh, but I didn't watch the most important parts. Ooh, dude. So nice. I'm missing this guy. No, one second. Yeah, so I I really like uh, TKL, um, but I do like the compact the the compactness of these um, 65s. And then you have your arrows. Like for me, I need arrows for my editing. But uh, honestly, it's not that big of a deal. It doesn't hurt me that much. Ooh. Favorite food? Cheeseburgers. Hands hands down, she has burgers. Do, 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 do. Now I gotta find these arrow keys. Dude. You find me a good cheeseburger, I'll be your best friend. Uh, let's see. You know, I haven't had a really good cheeseburger lately. We've been, you know, we've been going to the mall and stuff for like Christmas shopping. But I have yet to find a really good cheeseburger. The F is there. Okay. 10. These are the arrows. Uh, I think Cookout. I don't know if, where you guys are located, but Cookout definitely my spot uh, I'll put tilde there for now until I find my escape I don't know where that escape is at pipe doesn't need anything dude I've never had in and out man I really want to go in and out though it's kind of sad man I need you guys to fly me down uh, so I can have some in and out because I've never had it. If there was ever a story that you needed to speak about, it is the the boy who did not have in and out It's very sad. It's a very sad story. Yeah, I think so. The better beer, the the better burger places that we have here, uh, is probably going to be like Cookout. Mm, that's pretty much it. <laughs> uh, I don't know really any other. That's like that good compared to you guys' stuff. <gasps> Did I do that wrong? Don't tell me. Let's see this. 
Where's this at? Dude, I think I did this one wrong. Oh, no. No. Oh. I think it's supposed to be shifted over here. Uh, or maybe not. Well, I don't know. No, this isn't supposed to fit here. It's supposed to be like that. But yeah, that's supposed to be shifted over. Ah, oh, so that's going to have to be adjusted. That's going to suck. I'll have to do that later. Not right now. Sorry, you have to deal with this ugly one for now with that space in there. Ugh, it's ugly. Okay. And then I will do, go ahead and add these guys in. Real art. Are you, are you up in California also? A lot of the guys that I know are up, up there. Uh, I have yet to take a trip. My wife is actually from Fresno. Fresno, California. Ooh, Texas, nice. I'm just putting these caps in uh, the order I think it might look okay in. That's not gonna look right. That's ugly. AF. Where are you at? That's right. Is that right? Nope. Yeah, I'm in, up in North Carolina. North Kakalaka. Home of the Key Colt. We don't really have much here. Uh, we have like a lot of stuff that people do like though. Like, uh, what is the big one that people like? Ah, what is it called? Bojangles? People love Bojangles? I guess you guys don't have that. But there's nothing like renowned that everybody knows. Like In-N-Out Burger, I know that place because I've seen it. A lot of people talk about it. I still haven't had it though, which is kind of sad. Why is this not working? <laughs> what is going on? I guess I just have to leave these. I just do it. Yeah, I'll just leave it. All right. Let's try this out. Dude, this is a stressful keyboard build. I don't know why this thing was so complicated. Okay, and that, and then I have to like go back and fix that. Oh, geez, it's gonna be rough. That's gonna be tough. It's not gonna be that bad. I just gotta desolder it and resolder it. Uh, it won't be too bad of a fix, but I'm just scared of like messing this thing up. That's my biggest fear. So I have to make sure I take care of it if I do uh, resolder it. Oh man, so I'm going, I start back in school in January. Oh, I start taking biology Ooh, and physics. Biology and physics. That's going to be a big, big pain in the butt. But I got to get it done, man. I've been, I've been putting school off for so long. I finally got to take care of it. Okay. Move this guy to the side. That looks good though. Check out the side. This is the side profile. Very nice. It's the bottom. Looks pretty good, man. Yeah, wob everything, dude. White on black. All right. Let's go do a sound test real quick. I want to see what it sounds like. I am going to mute this. And I'm going to adjust my mic real quick too. I'm going to mute that. Alrighty. 
Here we go. Ah. I can do better. All right, let me hit a hundo. Let me try. Let me try for a hundo. Here we go. Literally like one word all. All right, one more time. Here we go. Can I start? That's it. I'm done. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> oh. It's okay. It's okay. All right. It's nice. It's definitely nice. Ah. <sighs> I feel like I could have did a little bit more studying on this board before I built it. I could have um, maybe done some stem swaps in these keycap, these key switches to make them seem like they're a little bit less scratchy. But I honestly don't mad mind the scratchiness. I actually like uh, the unique sound that it has. So it's really not a big deal for me, but it feels and sounds great. I like the 67 gram springs. I think that's my favorite part about these switches, is that weight. Uh, but I'm, I'm gonna have to go back and fix this. So this guy needs to be shifted to the left a little bit. Once I do that, I think everything should be back to normal. But other than that, man, I got my key colt finally. Uh, <laughs> I'll never, I'll probably never sell this board. No reason to. And I definitely understand why um, it's worth what it is. The attention to detail for this board, uh, the way that they uh, have this set up to where it mounts kind of like evenly up top and bottom, and then you have these side flexes. Uh, there's nothing on the side, so it flexes down. Uh, and then you have the uh, the leaf springs on the top, so you still have like it's not like a super hard typing experience. Definitely really nice. I probably will end up. Um, Lubing the stabilizer a little bit more. It sounds like it's. A l I, don't know, I, th I think I should probably foam this space bar too. It sounds like it's a little hollow. Everything else sounds pretty decent though. Uh, I like it though. What do you guys think? What's what's your take on it? What's your feel? Better than mine? Nah. This is this is purely subjective and preference too, man. Um. Is this board worth like $600 more than a tofu? What do you guys think? Is it worth it? Ooh. For me, I think so. I think uh, just having something that's built in this quality um, at this amount I think it's definitely worth it. It feels really good, man. That is that is a lot of money, 700 bucks. And that's retail. Uh, this thing would sell for a lot more aftermarket. Uh, just like, like if you look at it, um, the way that it lines up with the case, uh, 
and then you use their daughter board um, this is like a huge brass bottom so you have like a good amount of weight to it oh. and then the plate mounting style and you have these little spacers in there you have the gaskets in between that it's it's like a three-piece case uh, it's a seamless side design one of my favorite um, things about this is just having that seamless side it's got like a like I don't know if you notice it but it kind of has this little edge to it where it's kind of rounded in a way I literally don't know any other board that does that um, the top and the bottom it's got a really good balance to it the top is bigger I prefer that and the sides are kind of thin so it definitely doesn't take that much desk space up too. I think that's what I like about it this is gonna be on my desk for a hot minute I am gonna have to make another cable though this cable is so borked and it, it just looks like garbage in comparison to my uh, keyboard so I'm gonna have to swap that out that's gonna be something I'm gonna be doing. I think it sounds good, man. I like it. Let me do some more typing tests real quick. Let's see if I can get that hundo up. I think um, this is probably my first board with the center USB. I like it. I, I really, really like center USB. It's kind of like annoying when you have a board that's on the left and then you get to another board and it has, it's got a little. I mean, it's on the right and then the left, so you have to like swap it over. Uh, having it in the center, it just makes it so much easier. And the way that they had this daughter board mounted in there, the, the fat cable that I have here, it actually fits really good. Yeah, center USB is the way. People need to follow suit. Okay. Let's do this. Here we go. Let's go. <laughs> I finally did it. I don't even, did I even, oh, I made, did I make any errors there? I didn't even check. 99% accuracy. I don't think I used any backspace there. Pretty good. Yeah. No, it's the, <laughs> this, this, I messed this up right here. So it's a 7U. Um, so this is shorter. Yeah. Do I clean my keyboard? I do. Uh, so I use these little brushes. Um, you can get ones like these. I do like brush these. I would definitely recommend getting one that's like kind of um, like this or even like a paintbrush, like a dry one. You don't want to use like an actual paint used paintbrush, but this will keep your like you can just get in between those keys and you get the dust out because uh, man, these things collect dust. A lot of people get the covers for them so that it doesn't collect dust. But yeah, definitely. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to go back and fix that real. Yeah, it's kind of sad, man. That's gonna suck. Because it was such a pain to put this thing together, like that that little part, it was so stressful. So I'm gonna have to like re-go re through that whole thing. I got PTSD already, just thinking about it. Yeah. But dude, I can't believe I won this thing. Uh, I'm so happy with it. It's a super nice keyboard. I So I don't have a fume extractor. But I do have a fan. Uh, also, I have a window right next to me, so the the air circulates out when I do that. Also, ooh, seven V. I actually I didn't jump on the seven V because I got the Satisfaction seventy five. That's gonna be here. Um, that's gonna be here later. It's gonna be a while before it gets here. Yeah, uh, the Satisfaction seventy five is super nice, dude. Uh, I think it's gonna sound really good. It's burger mount also. It's got all the nice things, nice cool features for it. I think it'll sound dope. Yeah. What are, what are the keyboards you have on the way? Is that the one that you have? Yeah, see this is how it's supposed to look. But I messed it up. So that's my fault. That's a great one, dude. Dude, uh Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't get my um what is it called? 
I couldn't get my funds for the 7v, so I had to skip that one. Yeah. But luckily I got this one, so I, I can't be too disappointed. <laughs> yeah. So my keyboard collection actually started with the GK61, like a lot of people. And then I just slowly started getting other keyboards like the Tofu. And over time, I, I just ended up getting these uh, higher end ones. Uh, I sold a couple. I actually had two KBD67 Mark IIs. I sold both of those. I actually have the Vega uh, 65 on the way, uh, the Satisfaction 75, the Protozoa, and two Hive 60s. So those would be fun. When I build those, that'd be fun. Yeah. They're nice boards, though. I'm excited about the Hive. That's gonna be nice. I, I should be getting that one, like, next week. So we'll be... It'll be interesting to see how that one is. I think it's gonna sound great, though. That one's also a gasket mounted keyboard. Uh, it's different, though. It's like a split case. So it's not gonna be as hard to put together as this one was. But yeah. <laughs> I definitely recommend, though, if you're... If you get this keyboard, the number... Uh, 265 definitely uh, do your research on it watch some of Teja's videos and make sure that you know you figure out the the build order because that was like way more stressful than it needed to be because yeah, I was just scared of like scratching it and stuff so like I had to like be very delicate with it yeah well yeah that's that's it for today guys I appreciate you guys watching is there anybody on right now that's streaming let me see Windows on, basics on, Manoli visuals, tiny. Let me see real quick. My son was yelling for me real quick. I'm trying to find other streamers. No, I don't have to sleep. I just, I just have to um. Take the kids out. Probably just want to eat in a little bit. All right, let's hop on basic. You guys mind if we uh, raid basic real quick? Let me see. Where's she at? Okay. <laughs> that's totally wrong <laughs> oh gosh let me see oh my goodness hold on I think I spelled this wrong alright oh my goodness oh my goodness All right. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Enjoy the stream. Uh, basic, say hi to her. Um, be nice. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.